Hello, welcome to Lin's craft session. My name is Lin. Today I'm going to show you how to make this very cute traditional Chinese dress card using just normal colored papers. Let's get started. The first one made with two parts, a short top and a long skirt. Here is the measurement. First of all, fold the square along the diagonal. Then take the little strip of the paper to be the color of the top. Just fold in half and glue it along the side and the middle. Then fold like this on both sides. And now you get the front of the top. It's about 1.5 centimeters at the top. And then cut off an arc. Take the second squared paper to make the sleeves. Just fold into a quarter. Outline the shape of the sleeves. Cut along the edge. Here we go, open it up. You got the sleeves. To make the costume more in details, let's make the cuffs for the sleeves. Just take the little strip of paper, fold in half, and measure the width, and then cut it off. You need two of them. Now just glue everything together to get the top done. Now let's move on to the skirt. It's a long splitted skirt, so let's fold with a, about one centimeter gap at the top and do the same for the other side. Now let's fold the pleats. We need three pleats on each side. It should be narrower at the top but wider at the bottom. Then cut the bottom, also the top, to make it level. Then just glue the top and the dress together. The very last thing to do is make the ribbon for the top. Just use the leftover paper, cut along the long side, we just need a narrow one, and then fold in half, make a knot. Fold one side down. Glue it onto the top and cut the edge to make a sharp end. Just find a harder card and glue your costume onto the card. Here 
Here we go. Your first one is done. Now let's move on to the other one. This one made with three parts: the gown, the shirt, and the skirt. Here is the measurement. First of all, fold the paper into half. Then fold the top corners to the middle line, but leave a tiny gap in between. Fold both wings behind, and it looks like a rocket. It's about three centimeters wide at the top, and three point five centimeters wide at the bottom. Cut the rest of it, and also cut along the side. And you just made a split on the side of your gown. Now let's make the white collar of the gown. Just take the little strip of paper, fold in half, and make sure you glue it right in the middle of the gown. Just like the middle line of the white paper meets the middle. Along the side. Now let's fold it back and check the length of the white collar, and make sure it's the same length on both sides. Now let's move on to make the shirt underneath of the gown, and also need a little pink collar for the shirt. Just glue right in the middle. Then fold both sides across, and then cut off an arc, and glue the top underneath the gown. Then is the sleeves. Just fold into a quarter. And outline the shape of the sleeves. So cut along the line and make the paper inside out. Here we go. You got the sleeves for the gown. Next is to make the skirt. It's the same pleated skirt like the first one. You're just using the same way, and fold three plates on each side. It's narrower at the top, but wider at the bottom. Cut off the excess at the top and the bottom. Then glue it underneath the gown. We're almost done, but we just need to add the ribbon for the gown. We just use the leftover paper like the first one, cut a long strip, and also cut off a bow shape. Glue it in the front of the gown. And also cut the sharp end for the ribbons. The very last thing to do is just find a card and glue the costume onto it. Your job is done.
look what we have made. Two very cute Chinese costume cards. You can use it as a bookmark or send it to your friends. Just something different. Hope you like it. Bye from now.